welcome to my bundle of joy. <laughs> YouTube channel you guys this has been a long awaited video as most of y'all know this video has been requested since like I started my YouTube channel and quick promo um shop the lashes in the description box down below but starting off with my beauty room we're gonna start off with the doorknob because I actually showed this on my Instagram stories and a bit on my TikTok. So if you know, you know. I ended up getting this doorknob specifically because I didn't want nobody to have access to my beauty room. So you, it works with a fingerprint. As you can tell, the door will not unlock if it's not my fingerprint and my thumb. Specifically, you can set like a door, um, what is it called? Like a password uh number password by the way shout out to my cameraman my main <laughs> but um yeah so i'm just gonna show you guys how it unlocks and that's the sound it makes when it unlocks so come on follow me follow me okay so this is the room with the lights on and this is the room now with the lights off so the lighting definitely makes a difference because the lighting that I have up here does not do anything for the room. Um, so I will walk you guys through that setup once we get there. But for now, we're gonna keep the lights on. Just for the sake of having good lighting. Um, so I'm gonna start off with this wall right here. And I'm not gonna get too into detail of like my shoes and stuff because this is, you guys came for like the beauty side or whatever if you guys do want like an in-depth or in detail um video on like my shoes and what shoes i have i can definitely do that but i decided to do this wall like pretty basic because this is the wall that faces when i'm recording so i didn't want too much going on in this area and at first i actually didn't have anything i switched a lot around i did show you guys on my last video like what my room looked like before it was insane chaotic like this room has come a very long way in what three months three four months so i just decided to store my shoes here and soon you will see why because once we get to the closet sis it's like game over but i got these frames off of amazon i did link them um, a while back on my instagram story if you don't yet follow me on my instagram what are you doing what are you doing? It is in my description box down below. I will also link my Amazon storefront because that's where I have them. I have most of the stuff that I have in this room that I got off of Amazon in my storefront. And it's going to be linked down below. So that's this wall right here. And real quick, shout out to my man because you know, <laughs> he keeps my shoe game a point baby so he got me some new shoes but i need to order more of these because you know you know so for now these are gonna stay right there so now let's get into this wall right here which is where my window is and i actually had a huge debate on what like what curtains i wanted and what color because I didn't know the theme of like the color scheme that I wanted the room except for like white because of course like my vanity is mainly white. So I just decided to, I got these off Amazon by the way and let's zoom up close because these right here feel so soft and that's just me being extra. Honestly, you don't even need them to be like that. They're also blackout because i sometimes do want natural lighting but then when i don't i just want to be able to close them and focus on this lighting basically and then i have my tiny little shelf here so i was debating on putting shelves right here but your girl is short so with me being short 
I want to be able to reach the shelves and this was the only one that I would have reached so I only kept one I'm still gonna play with this and probably change it up a bit so I decided to I was debating on putting my perfumes or my body sprays but I was like you know what I'll just put my body lotions I wanted them displayed I didn't really want them in a drawer anymore and then I didn't know what to do with the rest of the wall and I didn't want to keep it plain and I also didn't have nowhere to store the hats like I said these I was still debating on the color like I was going back and forth with either white black anything that will go with the room so you know what I decided cream because it it goes well with the gold that I have in the room so the color scheme if you can't already tell is white and gold a little bit of silver but white and gold mainly I guess and with the hats and all the clothes it gives off like a lot of color basically so now with the clothing racks I got these off of Ikea I mean if you haven't shopped at Ikea yet baby what is you doing because Ikea is just a place to go when it comes to a lot of things furniture which is where I got most of my stuff in this room too Amazon and Ikea you need to sponsor your girl but um yeah I ended up putting clothing racks right here because like I said, I will show you my closet and you're going to see why. Um, I have a couple of shoes down here that just wouldn't fit in my closet and also wouldn't go well in one of these containers. So I have my sandals. Like I said, I'm not going to go too into detail with my shoes because if you want an in-depth like video on all of the shoes that I have, definitely give this video a thumbs up. So sandals and boots and then shirts these are all shirts by the way and these right here are all like my winter stuff that i can use during the winter you know like long sleeve also during the summer if i want to die but it's okay because i like long sleeve so yeah that's it for well it's actually not it for this wall we're gonna jump to this little corner by the way if you're not subscribed Hit that subscribe button because if you haven't watched the last video sis it's gonna be somewhere in the screen so i didn't want to clutter up this room okay I just let me move this right here by the way this is my chair this came from um ross it's a little used and abused but it's okay we're not gonna pay attention to that i didn't know how i wanted to set up this room like where i didn't want it to be too crowded you know, I still wanted to have room to walk in the middle and also like you can see everything when you walk in. So I decided before this shelf used to be in that corner, but it just made more sense right there because I needed to put the clothing racks up. Um, so on this shelf, I decided to display all of my purses, literally most of them. I only have two that are not displayed there. And also my perfumes. I didn't want to store my perfumes in a drawer. And I also didn't want to put them in the bathroom. Because, yeah, no. Not the bathroom. So, you know what? I just decided to display them right here. These are most of my favorite fragrances. I love, 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 love these perfumes. My go-to perfumes. And then... Your girl's running out of breath. Um, we have more hats because you're going to see hats displayed throughout the room. By the way, I might end up changing my room maybe the beginning of next year again. Just like I have changed up a couple things here and there. Um, but yeah, I might switch out the hats. I'm not too sure yet. Um, but yeah, more hats right there, hats right there. And then I got this a long time ago from Target and it was always meant for my beauty room look at that how cute is that and of course my bible verse one of my favorite bible verses of all time and my desktop computer i use this when i'm getting ready either to listen to music to watch youtube videos to watch netflix it's like my mini tv i was also debating on putting a tv in this room but i was like you know what no because it would have to go on that wall and technically as you can see i'm like filming this way and i don't really care for people to have you know a tv in the background but that's still like i said maybe i'll switch things around 
So let's get into my vanity. The fun part. The part that you guys have been asking me to show you for a very long time. This vanity was built by myself and my man's back there because he literally has helped me build this. You do not need to buy one of those bougie as vanities, just saying. I mean, if you want to, sis, go for it, but you don't have to. I literally, we literally built this from Amazon and Home Depot. So let's start off with the top comes off. It's not stuck together to this drawers. I bought, I ended up actually buying two, four, six of these originally. Um, but I didn't want, like I said, to crowd up the room too much. So I only ended up keeping four. And these are the Alex drawers from Ikea. But yes, these drawers are my favorite to store my makeup. I've had these for years now. And I've actually had this set up um, because if you watched my last video, you already know I moved houses and this is now my beauty room. So this is the way that I actually had my setup at my mom's house when I had like my room and my beauty room. But it just took up a lot of space. And this is also from Ikea. You can actually just get this top. I'm not going to remove it, but it's also from Ikea. So the way we did it, we just decided to put two, two. And then my chair goes right here. It's pretty big. It doesn't go underneath it. But, you know, it still looks cute. So, um, I still have room down here because this is where my lights um, to connect, like, go down here. That's pretty much all I have. If I need any cords to connect, like, when I'm doing my hair, I'll do it right here. And then, this baby right here, I got it off of Amazon. I have a very long time ago, like when I started filming TikTok, which was like, what, 2019? So I've tried to look for it. I haven't found it. I've found dupes in a way, I guess, kind of. If you find it, let me know. DM me on my Instagram because I would love to link it for you guys. But the ones that I have found that are dupes, I do have them in my Amazon storefront, which is in the description box once again. And now these babies right here, this is where the light comes. You guys always ask me, what lights do I use? What light bulbs do I use? What does my lighting look like? So these I got off of Home Depot too. If you go like by the, honestly, I don't even know what area in Home Depot, but I'm sure you would find these. Like if you take a screenshot right now or wherever in this video and you go to Home Depot and ask the people, hey, where can I find these? I'm sure they can direct you directly to where you can find them. So now the only thing with these is that you have to set up like the cords. Like if I could show you guys the back, I would. But basically you have to connect like some, what is it called? Like some cable. Yeah, you got to wire it. Yeah, you have to wire it to where the lights are going to work when you connect the light bulbs. See? Now this I have to give credit to... Um, an old friend of mine, a really good old friend of mine, Justin, if you're, you know, if you ever come across this video, shout out to you because, um, he definitely did all of that. He knew what to do with like the cords. Um, and yeah, he set up all of that and I've had them ever since. I don't touch them. I don't move them because I need them to work technically. And then the light bulbs, you can get them at Costco, at Home Depot, Amazon, they're LED lights. But as you can see, this one is giving like a yellowish reflection and this one is giving more of like a white reflection. So depending on the type of lighting that you want will depend on the type of light bulb that you're going to get. I think I'll probably put it somewhere in the screen here. I think I get natural daylight or something like that. Daylight light bulbs. Those are the ones that I like because the lighting does mess with the way your makeup is going to look. So some of them will make you look more yellow when you're not yellow. Some of them will make you look white as hell when you're, you know, it's just not going to make your makeup look that good. And it's going to fuck with like the color of it. So that's the light for you. If you guys have any questions or if I didn't answer any questions that you guys might have had, 
put them down in the comments down below so now getting to the mirror the mirror also I got off of Home Depot my man's put up the mirror I did want the mirror up a little bit like basically this height because I wanted my brushes to go underneath them so the measurement between the table and where we wanted the mirror is perfect because I can put you know it's not blocking it just makes sense basically and these you can also get off of Home Depot or even Amazon they're just what is holding the mirror up and like I said you can get this mirror off of Home Depot I don't know exactly how much it is but I'm sure maybe for this vanity I mean I think it's worth what I paid it's lasted me a long time I used to have a different like tabletop it used to be a different color I had to go get a new one um, to match um I think the old one was black and it just wasn't matching um the drawers so it's all making sense now and then now getting to these they're also these i got off of amazon they're actually meant to go in the kitchen and you can like they're actually meant to hold kitchen what are they called like utensils ki yeah kitchen utensils but i ended up just because it was a amazon sale going on you know so i was like you know what this would be perfect for my makeup um, brushes because I do have a lot of brushes I actually got rid of a lot of brushes and they worked out perfectly some of them are a little too like some brushes are a little too short for how tall they are I did label these myself because I wanted to be able I like to I like organization let's just get that clear somewhat of organization um if it makes sense it makes sense if you know you know but i needed to be able to put my brush back and not have to like buy brand you know you know so these are my eyeshadow brushes and then these are just by brand and then i have this little baby right here that i think i got this off of walmart dollar tree i can't really remember but i store all my little brushes that i there must have like i use these brushes every day so i need to be able to get a hold of these brushes like like that so there's that and then also another light right here I've had this for a very long time. I think I got this, like I said, either at Walmart or Ross, one of those stores, but I've had it for a very long time. I just store like my lip products, lip gloss, lipsticks, and then in here, I store my lash glue, uh, scissors, tweezers, and then um, makeup that I just want to play with, I'll put right here just to have in hand. And... ColourPop, shout out to ColourPop because you know they sent me these some hair products i've showed you guys if you follow me on social media i've showed you guys this hair products and then i love this little lip tray because i mean come on how can you not these are some of my favorite lip glosses lipsticks that i like i said i just want to be able to grab in the quickness and now this mirror right here I use this mirror. I got this mirror at Costco a very long time ago. My mom actually got it for me. And it's very old, as you can tell. But I'm sure they have one like this at Costco. It just may not be the same. It may be upgraded. Um, and I've had this for a very long time. When I sit down and I'm getting ready, this is what I use. So I reference off of this tiny mirror because it's up close. And also the mirror back here because I can see, you know, from different angles sis you know we got to be able to view from different angles because why not and then now we're getting to the fun part my dirty sponges <laughs> but no i'm kidding they are dirty but i do like to separate them because i have so many sponges i do like to separate the dirty with the clean so these are supposed to be clean and these are the dirty ones that i need to wash and up here you can get this honestly walmart dollar tree target i got this off of amazon by the way and then this like i said i'm sure walmart um i store my mascaras up here 
right here i have like all my liquid liners i like um waterline pencils anything like that i have right here and then right here is my eyebrow my eyebrow drawer my pomade powders pencils um spoolies that i love to use for my brows up here miscellaneous stuff i have some mail i have some cards that you can play with some filming equipment right here for like my lighting and then i don't clearly you can see i don't have a jewelry like um display or whatever so the way i decided to do i just put two thumbtacks right there and then just put my jewelry because i don't have a lot of jewelry now to get into what's in the drawers so let's bring it up close here a bit we're gonna get up close and personal but for this first alex drawer right here it's honestly miscellaneous stuff um which i'm about to show you this first drawer i keep like my uh laptop my electronic stuff mainly my charger for my laptop my ipad my apple watch and my beats as you can see um apple new the new apple headphones coming very soon right Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so and then this one i have nothing in there and then this baby right here i just have like um more electronic shit notebooks just if you own a business this is where like i write all my stuff for my eyelash business and then this baby right here let's ignore this bag okay so i have more makeup in here that is just extra makeup um, from different brands, Frankie Rose, use discount code Halen FR. It's going to be somewhere in the screen here. And then Japanesque, absolutely love their brushes. Some more milk makeup, just makeup stored right here that I just want to keep here until, you know, I'm ready to use it or whatever. And then down here, my body sprays, you know, smell good. Um, let's put this bag back in here. I have jewelry in there. So this is like my makeup miscellaneous drawer. I have lotion because I hate doing my makeup with crusty hands, okay? I hate dry hands, I just hate it so much. Gum because I'm a fruity person, like I love, you know, to chew gum, like fruity gum or whatever. My fans, I mean, you've seen me use them. My mirrors, little brushes to like fix my hair, a primer, um, my, eyebrow gel that i absolutely love um my drops my eye drops because these work miracles on me honestly best eye drops ever ever by the way um some chapstick what i use as chapstick some lip glosses like i said i just have a bunch of like miscellaneous stuff in here but i do like this is my go-to drawer like i will definitely be in this drawer um every day i do my makeup and then for this drawer right here so these are unreleased lashes right here in this little corner coming very soon if you have not yet shopped my brand it's gonna be linked in the description box i am wearing one of my favorite lashes you know i love dramatic lashes if you've been following me for a very long time if you're new here you know follow your girl subscribe all of that good stuff and then my primers my primers these primers i use every time i'm doing my makeup i do have more that are like my favorite than others or whatever oh my god <gasps> if you watch my last video you know i have been looking for this primer and i blame my sister for taking it and i'm like somebody stole this primer like i have been looking wow wow well for one of my favorite primers the laura mercier pure canvas primer this is the primer i was talking about in my last video if you haven't seen that video finish watching this one and go check that video out this is my hair tools drawer i like to keep my hair tools in this room instead of the bathroom because i will do my hair more in this room than i will in the bathroom you know so i like to do my hair when i'm sitting down or even standing up because i have the big mirror right here um i use all of these hair tools by the way i curl my hair crimp my hair straighten my hair all of that good stuff and then 
another miscellaneous drawer. I used to have all of these drawers, by the way, filled with makeup. But like I said, when I said I had to declutter, I meant it. Like I had so much makeup that I didn't use, just very unnecessary. And I could have used these drawers for, keeping in mind, I had six drawers and I had them filled with makeup that was old, used, abused, and just didn't need to be there so this drawer i have more hair stuff if you do not own one of these um i just use this this is a mat for like my hot tools so it won't like burn my desk or anything like that and i like to just off of amazon i'm sure i have it linked somewhere in my amazon storefront so this may be right here i do have my uh setting sprays setting sprays this is the drawer for setting sprays I absolutely adore my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I mean, I can get in depth about like every single product that is in my drawer, but that would make this video like two, three hours videos. And we don't want that, but I will say this baby right here and this one right here. If you have oily skin, this right here, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray is going to be your go-to. And well, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray has just been my favorite setting spray since I started using makeup, since I started working at Ulta. I do have also the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, ColourPop. I have a couple different setting sprays from different brands, but I will say I lean towards those two from those two brands if I want my makeup to last all day and all night long. Um, by the way, these drawers, because they're white, they do get dirty easily. So I clean them here and there when I want to go into them and go in detail and organize everything. That's when I'll go over them with Clorox wipes. They clean very, very well. They look brand spanking new unless you're like me and like scratch the drawer, you know, or do something like really big to where it's like noticeable but apart from that if you get makeup on them super easy to clean love that about them because then they like i said look brand spanking new so now let's get to the good stuff what you've been waiting for which is my makeup this right here is where i have stored my makeup and some of my skincare so i've actually showed this drawers in my instagram videos a bit i've gotten into detail about some of these drawers so this first drawer right here as you can see is to my right because this is like a necessity this is my one of my favorite drawers my foundation drawer as you can see i own a lot of foundations this is full of foundations and like luminizers or whatever they're called i love 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 nars i own every single foundation um that they own and i think it's just the best like complexion brand in my opinion um some frankie rose foundations like i said use discount code halen hr um oh my goodness who remembers the becca 24 hour foundation wow one of my favorite foundations of all time i'm actually using this foundation today and i don't really promote this foundation because it no longer like becca is no longer with us i guess um but yeah i do also have drugstore maybelline the maybelline 24 hour super stay absolutely love this foundation i will never understand why brands discontinue really good products um but apart from that l'oreal infallible pretty good foundation i rated it like a 8 out of 10 um and anastasia lancome fenty beauty giorgio armani mac back there um what other brand this one smith and cole physicians formula anastasia um i could just go on and on but i just love 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 all of these foundations the ones that are more like up here are like my more go-to foundations so now for this drawer right here i have all of my powders uh, most of like my loose powders so i own a lot of loose powders like this section right here is all loose powders and this section right here is pressed powders apart from this one because it didn't fit on that side but we have maybelline one size um beauty by patrick star beauty bakery morphe Huda Beauty, Laura Mercier, Hourglass, Fenty Beauty, and then Kat Von D back there, Revolution. Um, I 
love 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 as you can see i own a lot of the maybelline fit me loose powder i live by this powder um beauty bakery really really good powder a fine nice loose powder and then i love foundation powders that is like my jam i love to set the rest of my face with my foundation powder and i set my t-zone with the loose powder mac studio fix press foundation powder all-time favorite love it huda beauty glowish powder frankie rose also another really good powder charlotte tilbury i mean come on if you haven't heard of charlotte tilbury sis you need to you need to just go to sephora okay fenty beauty blotting powder if you get oily throughout the day this is a really really good powder to carry with you i recommend this to my sister because she has really oily skin uh color pop pretty fresh pressed powder also really good foundation powder one size beauty and these powders right here are also foundation powders some of these right here as you can see i spoke about these not that long ago on my instagram but i love foundation pressed powders of to brighten up my under eye absolutely stunning like the best powders to use underneath the eyes and these powders are like from nyx l'oreal infallible i use these powders for anything to set my lids sometimes to set my under eyes just depends on how i'm feeling that day and now for the third drawer oh my goodness i already know this video is going to be long so if you are still here give this video a thumbs up but this is my blush drawer my blush and my highlighter drawer my highlighters are in the bag because I don't really like to use highlighters because they just bring out the texture in the skin. And I'm just very picky about that. This part right here is mainly my cream blushes. I love, love, love. I own like every e.l.f. putty blush, as you can tell. This is Tarte. It's a blush and glow. Hourglass blush. Really, really bomb. Fenty Cream Blush, also really, really good blush. Revolution Blush Balm, good blushes. NARS, as you can tell, this has been sitting for a while, but you just gotta shake it up. And then we have Milk, we have Rare Beauty, and this Patrick Ta. I haven't used it yet, but I cannot wait to play with this. So it looks something like this. Look at how stunning this is. And then we have Charlotte Tilbury, Sephora blushes, MAC blushes, Frankie Rose, Sigma. Sigma has actually really good blushes, Hourglass, Laura Mercier, Essence, really good drugstore blushes. Milani also has really good baked blushes. I have the OG one, the Luminoso from Milani, best blush ever, honestly. Tarte, um, and then in the back, I just have Becca. ColourPop. I have a bunch of highlighters, like I said, that I don't really use. I have MAC, the OG. If you remember this blush, Soft and Gentle, oh my goodness, such a beautiful, subtle blush. So that's my blush drawer. Love it. I used to actually, fun fact, hate blush. And then these two bottom drawers are my eyeshadow um, palettes love these up here these i lean towards more i touch more so that's why they are in this drawer instead of the bottom one if you don't already know this i mean if you follow me and have been following me for a very long time you know this is my favorite eyeshadow palette the warrior 2 by juvius we have some tarte makeup by mario a bunch of a morphe palettes here color pop um and yeah that's this drawer and then this drawer down here i don't really touch these eyeshadow palettes as much but i do definitely try to play with them we have huda beauty milani all of these right here are anastasia these are urban decay these are a mixture of morphe color pop bh cosmetics these are all down here morphe eyeshadow palettes oh my goodness as you can tell like i said i love morphe eyeshadow palettes they're really really good affordable palettes and then this right here is like my miscellaneous area where i have like eyeshadows like set in pans like just separate some p louise 
um, bases which are really really good and just some glitter some pigments snicks you name it color pop it's all there i just need to play with it more but yeah this is this is the drawer that's why it's at the bottom because i don't really touch it as much i do try to play with different eyeshadows eyeshadow palettes because i know you know some of you guys definitely own these eyeshadow palettes and would love to see some looks now to this my last drawer this top drawer right here i have my cream under eye concealer and cream contour so back here i have my palettes like my jacked up cream contour palettes this one's by elf absolutely love it and then i own a bunch of the contour cream palettes by anastasia and then like i said i separated it this way because it makes it easier these are for my under eye and this is for my contour i own more for my under eye than my contour of course but these are some of my favorite cream contour products we have makeup by mario juvia's Kosis, hourglass maybelline fenty beauty um milk makeup nyx and la girl la girl also has some really good um contour or cream products like concealers i mean i'm sure y'all have heard of the la girl pro concealer and then over here now for the under eyes I have, you can name it, Drugstore High End. I have Maybelline NARS, um, Frankie Rose, Anastasia, really good concealer, Hourglass, Juvia's, Morphe, uh, Tarte, One Size, uh, Too Faced Born This Way, also really, really good concealer. Huda Beauty, also really good under eye concealer. I have MAC. And then these, the ones that are in the back, anything that is like really in the back, I don't really use as much. I try to keep all of my loved ones up in the front because like I said, while I'm sitting down, I need it to be like at a grabbing distance. So that is my contour and highlighter drawer. And now this drawer right here is messy. I did not fix it. It is what it is. It's okay. We're going to get through it. I'll organize it later but this is my um i would say this is my powder contour drawer oh my goodness i have had this contour palette for a very long time the anastasia contour kit the frankie rose pro contour palette i love these types of palettes because they literally have like have it all in this palette like the contour and the highlighter for underneath the eyes i have Sigma, I have Tarte, Fenty Beauty, Charlotte Tilbury, um, MAC, I also have MAC. You know, you already know I have to own the Physicians Butter Bronzer. By the way, I need to start using this again. I feel like I haven't used it in a very long time. That's why I need to organize this drawer. Hourglass, oh my goodness, their Radiant Bronzer. If you do not own this, I recommend it 100%. The OG packaging of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Holy shit, this shit is old. Um, Tarte, another Tarte palette. Anastasia, the Powdered Bronzer in Saddle. Also really good if you're going for like a really nice bronzy look. Oh my goodness, actually going through this drawer, I need to actually start using them. I have the Hula by Benefit also an og really good one i also have the mario soft sculpt bronzer um i mean you name it i have it basically in this drawer bronzers contours love it and now this drawer right here is skincare we're getting into skincare i actually also got rid of a lot of skincare because i wanted to minimize my skincare and i also need to do a skincare routine which is coming up very very soon um but yes this drawer right here is i tried to kind of do it let's let's take these off these are just cotton square pads that i use like when i'm applying my toners or anything like that so this i tried to aim more for like my am drawer in the morning my skincare what i will use in the morning and then i have this drawer right here that i will use like my skincare in the nighttime. 
so definitely shout out to good molecules because they did send me some skincare um i don't you can't really see it on camera but i have been using the however, however you say this niacinamide brightening toner um because i've been looking for a really good brightening toner i used to use the one from elf it came in a yellow long skinny bottle if you know which one i'm talking about you know which one i'm talking about but i wanted to try something new so lately i've been using this one right here it's been working out so far love 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 clinique oh my goodness me and my boyfriend use clinique religiously like as you can tell i'm running out and i have backup i have to have stock up of clinique because it's just my og brand love this brand never fails me if anything else fails me i go to this brand because it's just my go-to um i've been using this ole hamrickson banana brightening cream for the under eyes you guys Ask me what is a really good under eye cream that you can use underneath makeup. This one right here is the one that I use. I personally really like to use this one underneath makeup. It sits very well and it does not budge like make your makeup budge or move around. I have also a bunch of other like from the Ordinary brand. Of course my sunscreen because I live in Vegas. It's hot as hell out here sis. The sun is booming. You know I need that sunscreen. Also, another sunscreen from Kapari, um, Drunk Elephant. Also, shout out to Drunk Elephant because they sent me some goodies and I am absolutely obsessed with their skincare. I mainly use it in the nighttime. Uh, these are some oils. Sunday Riley, sis, I cannot brag enough about Sunday Riley. It's a expensive brand, you know, high-end brand, but it is worth it. I have a specific product that I love by them. I have my Vaseline in here. I have also a lot of skincare in the bathroom because it's just skincare that I use. I will also show you guys that skincare once I do my skincare routine, but I will get more in depth on that when I do my skincare routine. And then it's not organized. It's not pretty. It is what it is. It moves around. I open up the drawers back and forth. They're gonna, you know, swaddle or whatever. But also, like I said, this is like my nighttime skincare routine. Love, love, love Sunday Riley. If anything, I recommend the Ice Ceramide Moisturizer Cream. Really, really good for the nighttime. It keeps your skin really moisturized. Murad, I use it for my eyes. Drunk Elephant, once again. Um, I do love the Ordinary Skincare also. Really affordable and really, really good. I also use Origins. Um, some of their products and the ones that I have tried out, I really, really do like. And then, well, this drawer right here is another like miscellaneous drawer. I have some stuff from ColourPop headbands because your girl struggles with flyaways and then nobody got time to have their hair in their face while they're doing their makeup i do own this uh laser hair removal machine from home which i honestly never really used i bought it during the pandemic and i'm sure a lot of a lot of us bought a bunch of shit during the pandemic that we just don't use anymore i need to start using it again though um and then that sums up my Alex drawers you have seen my makeup my skincare my brushes my sponges um i just have this part of this wall and then the closet wall and we are done i swear this video is about to be like an hour and a half now for this little corner so i have this wall honestly like everything like I have it all taken up. I got that at, what store was it? Where were we at when I got that? Um, Hobby Lobby, that's what it's called. Okay. They have some, ever since I went into that store, oh my goodness, I can rant about that store. So I am obsessed with that store. I wanna get more frames, um, but that's, I got that frame, um, Starbucks lover, you know, it's just, it's very cute. It goes with the room. My boyfriend actually helped me pick it out. And then right here, I have some also like, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this stuff right here, like where I want to put it. But I do want to build a little library because I have really been getting into books. I love different like hobbies, like makeup will always be my number one, of course, but like reading, knitting, I'm trying to get into all of that. I love it. So these books right here, these are my OG college books memories memories so long ago but i still have them and then these books right here barnes and noble i mean i don't know if you can get sponsored by barnes and noble but hey you know 
why not um love these books also shout out to my sister-in-law because she actually put me on onto some of these books and also let me borrow some of these books i think i have one in the room and then i have one right here um my beats box which needs to go over there um but yeah apart from that some books and then now more shoes so because all of my shoes did not fit over there and i didn't want my shoes on that wall to go all the way up i decided to store these ones right here so you i do have my shoes organized by like these are my jordan ones and i have like my dunks over there um my vans uh my prestos my pumas i have i have them organized like i said like i said what i said so yeah this is right here and then a bit of more hats because i didn't know where to put them i used to have something right here where it was like a whiteboard where i wrote you know just anything that i wanted to write very into inspirational quotes anything like that i absolutely love because i like to keep a positive energy high vibration if you know you know but this is my calendar um i like to keep this I do better with this calendar than with a like notebook calendar um, just because I can like erase it. I can, you know, it's just better for me. This works for me. And I wanted it against my closet because I don't really like film in this area. And I don't, you know, it's just for me personally. Um, it's just really good to have. I got this off of Amazon. If you want the link, let me know because I don't think I have it in my Amazon storefront but really good to have um, if you're trying to keep yourself organized, appointments, anything like that. I just like to see it. Um, I do also keep it on my phone, but I just like to see it personally. I'm not gonna get too in depth with what's in my closet because it's the same thing, you know, it's just, it's my beauty room, but we're just not gonna get too, too into depth. So as you can see, this closet is filled from like that end to that end. So that's why I needed those clothing racks and this side right here is full of some shirts right here this little corner shirts and then all of this is dresses i love dresses to me it's just like the simplest outfit that you can make look good really quickly and you it's not a two-piece you know you don't have to wear jeans and match it with the top it's just like a whole dress so i love 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 dresses this is my extensions right here my clip-in extensions and then i decided to keep my high heels in my closet I love all of these high heels are literally Steve Madden. Steve Madden. You know, you already know the deal. The dealio if you want to sponsor your girl. But I love, I absolutely love Steve Madden high heels. Just because they fit me. Um, also, fun fact, I have a tiny foot. I am a size two in kids. Kids. You heard right, kids. So it is hard for me to find high heels, like high heels my size. And Steve Madden just has my size, you know, it's just, it works out perfectly, basically. And up there, I have my sweats, you know, nothing that needs to be shown out here. My sweats because winter is ahead of us and well. So now to this side of my closet, I have my boots down there and then some empty shoe boxes or shoes, storage, whatever containers whatever you want to call them down there and i have my big my big jackets over here the big bodies over here these are like you know during when it gets really really cold and i just need something really thick these are just my big like i said my big jackets and then up there i have two of my purses that like i said earlier um I just have two other purses apart from the ones that I have over there and I didn't know where to put them so they just went up there and then my shirts like my shirts my tomboyish shirts like the shirts that I can pair with my sneakers and things like that or my tennis shoes whatever so those are up there and they need to get folded and organized I know but as you can tell those are like my go-to shirts like I will gravitate towards those like for an everyday fit um and that is that is my closet okay so now to the corner of this wall this mirror right here shout out to my best friend miriam because she came in clutch with these mirrors i cannot tell you where to buy these mirrors 
as you can tell i've been talking a lot but i cannot tell you where to buy these mirrors because she got them from i don't know where and i got i bought them off of her for like really cheap if you know these mirrors are so expensive um but like i said shout out to her she came in clutch I wanted a big mirror for this room because I wanted to be able to see my outfits. I want to be able to take pictures, you know, and then the rug down here. I mean, I have it just like just to have in front of the mirror. I feel like it makes sense. It's white. It goes with like the theme of the room. Um, but yeah, this is like literally my sanctuary, my go to room, like when I'm feeling anxious, when I'm when I really want to concentrate on anything, this is my room. Like, this is really, like, my love is, like, right here, apart from the one behind the camera. But um, I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. I hope I went into detail, and I hope this is what, you know, you expected or better because this has been a long-awaited video and this has been like my number one ass video apart from my skincare routine and my eyebrow routine which are coming up very soon but like i said give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified whenever i post another video and i will see you guys on my next video